I am Dr. Bapuji, Chairman of Center for Integrated Medicine, Hyderabad. I have been practicing for the last 45 years integrated medicine. Integrated medicine means I am qualified in qualified allopath. I have completed my MBBS. Then I am also qualified in naturopathy and yoga and uh, diagnosis, staging, uh, decision making is based on allopathy. Then treatment is based on allopathy, naturopathy and yoga. Most of the problems we take up is chronic diseases. Today I have come forward to, you share, uh, to share with uh, you all about the thyroid business. For the last 30 years, hypothyroidism is being diagnosed, overdiagnosed. Everybody who is little plumpy, weight, you know, they are being put on thyroid medication. Thyroid medicine comes in a number of market names. I am talking about Eltroxin. Eltroxin means tetraidothyronine. There are two hormones which are secreted from thyroid, T3, T4. T4 is the one which maintains metabolism of 150 trillion cells in the body, including brain, heart, every cell. And uh, T3 comes into picture only when T3 is lagging behind in maintaining metabolism. And these T3, T4 are controlled by TSH, which is secreted from anterior pituitary. And that is under control of hypothalamic hormone known as thyroid regulating hormone. These are the controls for thyroid. Now T3, T4 are secreted from thyroid. Based on TSH, which is secreted from pituitary, where if TSH is high, normally is 3.5 to 5.5 or 6 in some laboratories. I am not telling you the units. Once it has come to 6 or 7, patient is being put on 25 mcg of thyronom or uh, thyronom is the market name, thyroxine. Is it justified when T3, T4 are normal? What happens to the symptoms which you have been taught even today they hold good? Hypothyroidism we suspect only on symptoms, unexplained weight gain, 6 kgs to 10 kgs during the last 6 months. Patient always feels like lying down, doesn't feel like doing anything, that is known as lethargy. Hoarseness of voice, pulse rate comes down below 60. These are the main symptoms. Cholesterol goes up, total cholesterol goes up. Then there are other minor symptoms like, you know, the intolerance to cold, dry skin, hair loss. Hair loss everybody has today because they are, everybody is in a hurry. They want to finish off a head bath in five minutes using whole bottle of shampoo. I am seeing my children also doing that. So uh, hair thickness and all that is hereditary. And hair loss is not the symptom of thyroid. And who is writing TSH, T3, T4, uh, T3 T4 and uh, TSH uh, tests? Gynecologist is writing. Orthopedician is writing. General physician is writing. Cardiologists are writing. Pulmonologists are writing. It has become a big mafia for the last 30 years. It is going on, everybody is being put on thyroxine, 25 mcg. Then they will increase it to, uh, you know, 12.5 uh, they will increase. Then they will put them on 50 mcg, then 62.5, then 75, 88.5 also. You will be surprised to know, 45 years ago, when I was a regular intern in uh, Usmania General Hospital, only one or two laboratories used to do T3, T4, TSH. Today, every street has got 
T3, T4, TSH test. And it costs 700 rupees. Okay, based on TSH, T3, T4 are normal, patient is being put on. Now what happens uh, if uh, T3, T4 are normal and then if patient takes 100 mcg or more, patient becomes irritable, argumentative, restlessness, anxiety prone, sleeplessness, sometimes fine tremors due to anxiety. The family members can notice. That is because of thyroid. So in the name of subclinical hypothyroidism, a new word has come. Hypothyroidism we have been taught. For the last 30 years, subclinical hypothyroidism. People are being prescribed thyroxine, which is outrageous. Okay, in some diseases where T3, T4 are normal, but TSH can go up to 150. That is an autoimmune disease where the antibodies are produced against thyroid. Then T, uh, TSH goes up. Patient has to be treated uh, for autoimmune disease rather than uh, treating for hypothyroidism is my argument. What happens to symptoms? Now, patient who is being put on uh, 75 or 100 mcg is putting on weight because if she doesn't eat or if he, uh, she feels like eating throughout the day, if she doesn't eat, she is feeling weak. So instead of losing weight after thyroid hormone is introduced, they are regaining weight, 80 kgs to 100 kgs within no time for, for the last 5-6 years. When I take the history of patients, people are taking for the last 21 years, 25 years, when I go into the details, 62.5, 75, based on TSH readings, which is not correct. Another social problem is, if an unmarried girl is put on uh, thyroid medicine for hypothyroidism, what happens? One is she is overweight, marriage alliance is a problem, everybody is figure conscious, men have certain aspirations about the looks of the prospective bride. And uh, after everything settles, should the uh, girl or girl side mention about her hypothyroidism, she is on altroxin. If they don't mention, they will feel bad. If they mention, they will check up with others. Saying that, and then the other doctors will say, lifelong it has to be taken. See, common man doesn't understand. Lifelong medicine, then why will that uh, marriage alliance materialize? Tell me. It is really outrageous. As B.M. Magde said, Professor B.M. Magde, who is my guru, he said, this is disease mongering. Another is PCOD or PCOS, another disease they are creating out of nothing. Only to do laparoscopic investigations, high HRCT of abdomen, ultrasound, they will just mention. Ultrasound report is very crude. It varies with uh, a person who does the ultrasound, his intelligence, his interpretation. So, taking thyroid medicine is outrageous when T3, T4 are normal. Those who are taking they cannot stop suddenly if they are taking 100 or above 100. 100 can be brought down to 50. 50 can be stopped in another 15 days. Those who are taking 75 or below, in fact, they can stop. The problem here is when the patient asks if she misses the uh, tablet, what should she do? Doctor says, you cannot miss. You should not stop. Okay, what happens if I stop? Tell me. He doesn't spell out. People have stopped their own thyroid medicine, 125 mcg, patients who come one month back. Instead of losing weight, actually she was gaining weight. So this is what I wanted to bring it to your notice. T TSH goes up in autoimmune diseases 
where Hashimoto's thyroiditis, there are other thyroiditis situations. The other tests, you know, they are of academic interest. I don't want to confuse the general public. Thank you.